Hello. Filming? <laughs> Hello. Just doing a quick <laughs> review on this uh, Gibson SG. I got it down in Las Vegas. I uh, used at Guitar Center. Uh, we weren't really planning on buying it, but it was in the store. And my son saw it and uh, wanted to try it out. So we tried it out. And it just plays so nice. It's a uh, very light guitar. This would be a 2013, I'm guessing, by the serial number. Uh, me and you say, oh, I'm lying. 2009, sorry, I should say. This is right there on the headstock. Uh, got the good Gibson tuners, Gibson stamped. Uh, nice little pedal uh, tuning keys. Uh, no volute, but it's just standard Gibson uh, comfortable neck to headstock. Uh, the next great, it's not flat, but it's not very thick either, so it's not a baseball bat, but it's uh, nice and very, you know, comfortable. Uh, just looking at the side of the fretboard to neck, there's a bit of difference in the wood, so you can see the two different changes in wood. And then the neck to body and joints, great. You can see the line, but you can't feel it at all. Um, in there and see the back yeah so a bit of a step there I don't know why they keep that step but I suppose it's the original SG thing to do and a little contour here and on both sides and a contour on the top which is nice so the bottom is nice and flat so when it's on your knee it will stay straight and not slide off and top's got a nice contour so it's very comfortable to play and the SG's got the one single cavity for the switches and uh, pots. Um, so the Gibson SG is, uh, what do you call it, it's a step ahead of the Gibson Les Paul so they tried to call it Les Paul and Les Paul didn't want him to because he didn't design the guitar, it's not what he wanted but in a lot of ways it's more advanced than the Les Paul. Um, simpler to build, everything's all in one pocket. It's thinner, it's a lot lighter, it's a very very light guitar, extremely light. Uh, has the Les Paul pickups, Les Paul hardware, so you get the sound, uh, but a lot less weight and um, a lot more streamlined, not easier to build and stuff like that. But of course, if it's an SG or a Les Paul sitting side by side, everyone wants the Les Paul, but reality is, if you're playing, you tend to grab this one more because it's easier to play, all the access you'd ever want, there's nothing in the way. It's light as a feather, it can hold it one hand easy. And uh, it's very simple. Simple switching, separate tone, separate volume, and uh, you can get lots of sounds of it. Uh, whatever pickup this thing came with is an excellent pickup as well. Both uh, Gibson pickups. And good quality bridge, like high quality, tunematic, uh, all, all um, captive or whatever, uh, saddles so they don't rattle around, easy to adjust. And same with uh, bridge. Holy or sorry, tailpiece is really good. So overall, really good guitar. This one has dot inlays, not the trapezoid inlays, but it's still they're nice pearl, well made, and same with the side dots too. They're uh, just enough, so they're kind of not overly kind of uh, gaudy, but they're just enough so you can use your inlays. And I really like the finish on this guitar. It's um, kind of it's not a polished finish it's a, a you can feel the wood grain and as you play it you can see in the back of the neck the neck was originally all basically this color but as we play it it's wearing through and lightening up so it just it's like a, a baseball glove or something you know that gets comfortable the more you play it it kind of fits you better and better the more you play it so all in all, it's a great guitar. I think we paid around $450 or something. And uh, a real Made in USA Gibson, fairly new, good condition. We've done all the wear on it, so it was great when we, like new when we bought it. I put some strap locks on it because I don't want to drop it. Uh, and that's about it. So, an excellent guitar. Like, uh, if you can't afford a Les Paul, but you want that Gibson sound, here you go. It's a great guitar, uh, well made, and uh, if you want to sell it, you just sell it for what you pay for it, basically. It's going to hold its value. So, hope you enjoy the review. I'll have a playing demo after this. 
and you can see that you get your Les Paul or whatever sounds you want out of it. Uh, very solid and very friendly to play. Okay, thanks a lot. Have a great day. Goodbye.